I'm the Rules Girl, and this is Unfair, a 1 to 2 hour set collection game of theme park construction for 2 to 5 players. In Unfair, players are unscrupulous theme park owners, building the best theme park by any means necessary. The goal of the game is to win, and you win by having the most victory points, typically earned by building amazing attractions, matching your park builds to blueprints, and making obscene amounts of money. Your theme park starts off humbly as this main gate, allowing you to build 5 attractions, including 1 super attraction. Your park currently attracts one guest and might one day attract as many as 15 guests or more if you can expand your capacity. The game is played over the course of 8 rounds, where you'll play event cards, expand your park and take your guests money. At the beginning of every round, each player draws one event card. These cards usually have two abilities to choose from, one that helps you and one that hurts your opponents. We'll get a chance to play these soon, but before that, one city card is drawn, affecting every player. In the first four rounds, these will be helpful funfair cards, but in the second half of the game, they'll be harmful unfair cards. Now, starting with the first player and going clockwise, players play an event card, use a once per event phase ability on one of their built park cards, or pass. Once every player has consecutively passed, play moves on to the park phase. During this phase, players have three actions they can use to draw cards and expand their park. Starting with the first player and going clockwise, players get one action. These actions include putting a card from the market into your hand for later use, discarding a park or event card from your hand to draw five park cards, choosing one to keep, drawing two cards from the event, blueprint or park decks, and keeping at most one of these. Blueprint cards give you lots of victory points for following their plans exactly, while penalizing you if you fail to complete their objectives by the end of the game. Demolishing or dismissing one park card you've built, collecting one point for each open attraction in your park, and finally, paying the cost of one park card to place it in your park. This card can be from the market, your hand, or your unbuilt super attractions. New attractions are placed to the right of the main gate and your older attractions, and give you points at the end of the game depending on how many icons you can attach to them, typically through upgrades. Upgrades are built above an attraction, like this, and you cannot build two upgrades of the exact same name on the same attraction. Resources and staff members are added to the left of your main gate. Super attractions are built like normal attractions, and one of them can be constructed once you have at least 5 stars in your park. If you need the money, you can borrow 5 coins in exchange for 10 victory points at the end of the game. You may do this up to 4 times, and it does not cost an action. Similarly, if you decide you'll never build either one of your super attractions, you may return them to the box in exchange for 10 coins. This also isn't an action. Once players have each taken 3 actions, move on to the guest phase. Count up your stars, up to your park capacity, and collect 1 coin for each star counted, plus any for additional effects you might have in play. Sometimes event cards from earlier in the round close your attractions, leaving them face down and unable to collect stars from that attraction or its upgrades. After the guest phase, it's time to clean up. Discard any pinned event cards still in play, flip over any closed attraction or unavailable workers, discard the entire market and refill it, discard down to 5 park and event cards combined, and pass the starting player token clockwise. And that's a round. Play continues for 7 more rounds. After round 4, blueprint cards can no longer be drawn as an action, and city cards begin to hurt you. After the last city card is played, finish the round and end the game. Start scoring with attractions, adding up the number of icons on each individual attraction and consulting this table. Now reveal your blueprints and score them, following the directions on the cards. Earn one victory point for every two points you have left over, and look for other cards in play that give you points, such as staff members. And finally, subtract points for any loans you took out. The player with the most points wins the game. Ready to play? Pick one theme per player, mashing together all the LA cards from each theme. Give each player a main gate, a face down loan card and 20 coins. Build the city deck with 4 random unfair city cards at the bottom, followed by the blueprint public notice, followed by the 4 random funfair city cards on top. Deal 5 park cards to each player, and if you don't have any attractions, you may discard your hand and draw 5 more. Now deal 2 showcase cards, unbuilt super attractions, to each player, and fill the market with 6 park cards. The player who calls shotgun goes first. 
Once you've played Unfair a couple of times, come back and answer our commenter's question. Tune in next week as we rulify a Simon game with a little more direct conflict, Jikita Bot Battles. If you're looking for more ultra-concise rules explanations, consider liking this video and subscribing to The Rules Girl.